One of the Caribbean's biggest music festivals is back. And did you know a sunflower symbol could make your next journey a little bit easier? Brent Pinero has the details in This Week in Travel. The Kongdong is on for Dominica's World Creole Festival. This three-day music festival offers patrons a mix of compa, souk, dancehall, reggae, and soca acts. Last week, the Discover Dominica Authority unveiled the festival's performers, but this week they made a surprise announcement. Grammy Award winner Burna Boy will headline the festival. We don't cast, last, last, now everybody go talk great fast. Joining the last, last singer are 21 other artists, including Jamaican reggae sensation Shensia and Sizzler. The nation's boyfriend Kess will be repping TNT, as well as Patrice again. Individual nightly tickets are available for purchase, as well as season tickets for all three nights. The festival runs from October 20th to the 30th. And staying in the Caribbean, St. Kitts and Nevis is the latest Caribbean destination to officially remove all travel restrictions. Travelers are no longer required to show a negative COVID test, proof of vaccination, or quarantine. All travelers to St. Kitts and Nevis do still have to fill out an online customs and immigration form before arrival. TNT nationals do not require visas to enter St. Kitts and Nevis. And Turkish Airlines is the latest carrier to join the Differences Add Value program. The initiative launched in the UK in 2016 aims to recognize passengers with hidden disabilities. The program uses a yellow sunflower and is recognized at over 160 airports, including Dubai International Airport, JFK, and London Heathrow. Hidden disabilities include conditions such as lupus, dyslexia, and autism. Wearing the hidden disability sunflower discreetly notifies airline staff that the wearer may need additional help or support. Brent Panero, CNC3 News.